We've been covering all the problems that MCU has been having as of late, right and left. It doesn't even matter where you are politically at this point. Uh, people are just seeing that these are crappy shows on Disney+. Plus. Secret Invasion was universally panned. It like brought the internet together for the first time to go, you know what? Disney sucks. And it really has for a long time. This MCU iteration of this Phase 6 MCU, whatever you want to call it, has just been a complete train wreck all the way from She-Hulk to uh, the Ant-Man movie to everything that's been going down through every single thing coming out. And it's going to culminate in the Marvels being a just absolute train wreck at the box office. And we know this. Now, they've got a bunch of shows in the slate that are going to actually push the agenda further that are coming from the comics that were the woke comics in 2017, 2018 that, you know, we were talking about back in the day. That's when Comics Gate started. Oh, my gosh, that's another rabbit hole of a video if we want to go down there. But all these concepts are now getting pushed into the films, and now they're getting pushed back. Let's look at this right now. Marvel reshuffles the entire Disney Plus DC TV schedule. Gosh, I can talk today. Ironheart, Daredevil Born Again, and Wonder Man place on indefinite hiatus. Agatha is renamed for a third time. I don't know why they were even talking about doing an Agatha Christie TV show. Nobody wanted that. Uh, gosh, just from the Scarlet Witch deal, uh, the WandaVision. Like, nobody liked her. Uh, absolutely insane that they were going there to begin with. But whatever. The rescheduling shakeup was first confirmed on September 1st through Hollywood Reporter. Marvel has undertook the shuffle as a part of effort to, quote, make each title an event for fans and audiences. So they knew that all of these shows were just going to be total disasters like they have been in the past, and it's going to just hurt their brand even further. So they're trying to re-edit this stuff to push it back. But honestly, the concept of Ironheart to begin with, this like, oh, this black girl who's even smarter than Tony Stark and better than everybody else, uh, is just a woke concept that's not going to play anyway. It's not going to gain support and gain respect to fans, no matter how it's edited. I mean, gosh, I don't know what they're thinking, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> eventually, it might get bat <laughs> I'm going to use that as a, a uh, verb now. <clears throat> so, which itself was born out of the studio's recent realization that spreading out its content is a more prudent strategy. So they're taking the tack here, saying that they're putting out too much content, quote, uh, for people to digest quickly or whatnot. That's not actually true. That's not the case here. So these shows are like six episode shows, and they put out two or three of them a year. So you only get like 18 episodes a year, and you're subscribing to this thing, Disney Plus, for like, you know, whatever it costs. And you're looking at this and you're going, gosh, like, I don't have enough good content actually to justify my subscription here. I'm watching like two or three episodes a month, maybe. And that's that's a lot of money for the value of entertainment that's coming out. Shows used to have 24 episodes a season. They really did back in the day, believe it or not children. <laughs> and so you used to get way more content out of one TV show than you actually got from having multiple TV shows here on Disney Plus. It's absolutely absurd to think that there's too much content. And people are too saturated with this. No, it's the problem is the content itself. The content itself is something that's not worth watching. And it's increasingly becoming so we're, we're seeing with these concepts that they're trying to put out that nobody wants to see these is not anything that anybody's asking for. Uh, where once was set to release uh, uh, seven total Disney Plus projects, Secret Invasion, What If Season 2, Loki Season 2, Echo, Ironheart, A Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and X-Men 97. They will instead end the year having released a drastically reduced slate. Now, part of this is also due to the strike. They just like don't have content coming out next year because they're not able to film anything. And so they're going to have to spread this out for as long as possible in hopes that's going to get resolved, too. As previously confirmed, the recent uh, Secret Invasion, Marvel will air the second season of Loki, which is currently on track to premiere October 6th. From there, they will close out 2023 with the second season of What If. So here it is, and this is where the change ends up. Uh, once aiming for fall 2023 for the X-Men premiere, the return of the fan-favorite mutant team will now take place on an unspecified date in early 2024. Now bearing the new name, Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Oh my gosh, it's even worse name than Coven of Chaos. Uh, this spinoff has been bumped uh, from its hopeful winter 2023 to Halloween and fall of 2024. Wow, that's a long bump. Uh, the last studio's intended 2023 Ironheart has been hit with another delay. After being previously put on indefinite hiatus before being given a rough 2024 release, series no one wants has now been put back in limbo. So it is not even known when this is going to be happening uh, at this point, or if it'll ever be happening. Uh, if they're smart, they'll probably shelve this one forever. So this is a bad sign for Disney and a good sign for fans because, gosh, the longer this plays out and the longer that these guys 
uh, end up getting in their Hollywood strike and end up not producing these shows that suck. Maybe some new people will get in there and go, you know what, this woke stuff's not very good and maybe we should dial that sort of thing back. We can only hope. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.